We're back. Even Baja the Wonder Dog is back. So today we're going to make comeback burgers. And I'm calling them comeback burgers because you're going to come back with more. Or, well, maybe because I'm just coming back after a short hiatus. Okay, y'all. We got a griddle going. It's on low, medium, low. Yes, it's smoking. There's a little bit of oil on it. And for some reason up here in the hills, it gets uh, it gets hot even on low. So, you saw the pack of Angus beef. I split it into four. Which would make it about, uh, what, 20 ounces each? I don't know. I don't do math. I'm doing just a little. That's kind of big, huh? Yeah, we'll do quarter, quarter pounders. Hope that's okay with you. Five is kind of just right, but five burgers out of a pound. But four is easier to math. So, we're doing a ball and cut very lightly, touching as little as possible. Sorry about the air conditioning. It's summertime. Uh, we do the ball so it gets browned in the middle. And, uh, there's a the guy on the I don't know, some channel. He's, uh, is it first we feast? Maybe. He's a, he's a, a very educated burger guy, and he goes into the history of burgers, and I'm throwing a blank on his name. But, uh, he, uh, suggested flipping before you squish. And, uh, by golly, that's just what I'm going to do. Um, you may have noticed, you may not have, you may not even care, but I've been away for a week. And, uh, it was a fantastic week. I, uh, took my motorcycle, went camping up in Cambria. And, uh, went to Morro Bay to see the sea otters, went up to see the elephant seals, rode across the desert, it was awesome, except my lips are still chapped, oh look at that nice brown scorch there, Flip. this is where it gets fun by golly, oh yeah, okay, We got smashers. Actually, I tried to. I don't know if it'll work. It might. This is my cheapy spatula I got from uh, Smart and Final, a local grocery chain. And we're just going to push off. Oh, look at that. I think that worked pretty well. What do you think? I'm glad you agree. Slide it off right there around the edges. It's a little hot, did I mention that? And it's on medium, it looks like two notches above low, maybe one notch. Man, is it hot. Look at the 
that just a little more. I got some catching up to do. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah. So, where were we? The seasonings, guys, before they're completely cooked. See, the juices are coming up through. This is my salt, pepper, garlic blend that I use on everything pretty much. A new favorite South African smoke seasoning blend. Uh oh. I'll get it. <coughs> uh, sitting the griddle, that seasoning. It's a little warm. So, this one is done, I think. Oh, look at that car. Let's see how this one's doing. That one needs a little more time. The one thing that's definitely sucking, uh, buttery steakhouse. Uh, got tendonitis. I've always had it. I've uh, been around embalming machines. I've been around printing presses. I've been around the uh, rock concerts in front of the speaker, backstage, on stage. Um, motorcycles with no helmets. Uh, not in California, of course, but other places. And anyway, the tinnitus the last two weeks has gotten really bad, so I can't even hear myself talk. What's that you say? Oh, sorry, I thought you said something. Ah. Yeah. Move you a little closer. And wait, there's more. Add some buttery seasoning. Normally I would have done this earlier, but <coughs> I couldn't hear what I was thinking. But <coughs> the party hat for the burgers. <coughs> That helps steam. It it gets juicy, steamy, uh, moist, damp, wet. I'm running out of adjectives. Uh, it really cr creates a steam bath in there. Um, first time I ever saw it done was a. A diner on uh, Bourbon Street <coughs> in New Orleans. Um, they cook the burgers under hubcaps still to this day. I think they've been doing it for about 70 years that way. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me, but it, it really makes them juicy. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna slide these babies over. Let them continue to crush. Do we're party that? Maybe clean our work surface so there's not as much seasoning. Okay. What are we doing? Oh. We've got some buttery buns. Look how nice and buttery. Whoa. And we'll just slap these guys down. And suggestion from a viewer was that your buns cup sometimes. Mine do. And uh, the middle doesn't get cooked, so you just get a ring of toasting. So pressing down with your spatula, 
helps eliminate that. I think I can turn this side off. Oh, still need more toasty. We don't want to squish them. We don't want squishy buns. But we want toasty buns. Doesn't everyone want toasty buns? Sure we do. No cheese, we just like the meat. Um, sometimes if I go out to eat somewhere, I'll get a cheesy burger. But sometimes all that stuff, uh, Dame Drops is one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, he does reviews. He calls lettuce, uh, crunchy water. Tomato is the red ring of death. And uh, he usually doesn't like all that on his. I do like the veggies. Um, Yum. But I like grilled onions. Uh, regular onions are, get a little too crunchy for me sometimes. Bonk, bonk. Okay. So. You know what? That's too big to make a double, isn't it? Well, that was my plan. It's to make a couple doubles. A double order of doubles. Okay. First of all, check that out. Huh? 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 Oh, too much sun in your eyes. How about now? Uh oh. Got stop that. Ah. Darn tripod. Um. I got a couple of other favorites thingies. This is pick a pepper sauce. It's great on burgers. And this is a new uh, Trader Joe's dill pickle mustard. You have to be careful squeezing it out because pickles get stuck in the spout and then they go shooting out. And it, it can be a whole big thing. Anyway, that's what I'm going to stick on my burger. Uh, my lovely assistant will probably be uh, a little bit of regular mustard and a little bit of ketchup maybe. Uh, hold on, hold on. So these weren't super flat like a Super Smash Burger. But they're flat enough. They're crispy. They're just begging to get it. Looky there, looky there. Anyway, that's it for today's episode of what in the world is he doing now no uh griddle porn and uh we do appreciate you watching following subscribing liking sharing offering uh helpful tips most importantly thank you for feeding my fragile ego and uh we'll see you next time bye